Hello, hello. Let's get started, collective. Let's see what the guides would like for me to be aware of. This is a general reading. Don't try to make things fit where they don't. And kick rocks to the rest. Let's see what we got here coming out of this deck. ISFJ personality type just showed itself. Let's see. Oh, these are not easy cards to shuffle. Let's try this again. Okay. All right, so we do have ISTP, Aries energy, introverted, sensing, thinking, perceiving. This could be you, valuing, efficiency, tolerant and flexible, interested in cause and effect. You are aware of cause and effect. You know that energy sent will be returned. You are just as much to blame as me for us not working out. Admit it, you weren't ready for me. Okay, hold on a second. Let me read this again. You are just as much to blame as me for us not working out. Admit it. Someone wants you to admit your faults. You weren't ready for me. This could be you. This could be another person. Someone wasn't ready. Perhaps neither of you were ready. Maybe this wasn't fated, wasn't meant to be, but someone is still hanging on to this energy. What do we have here? Okay, you can't ignore me forever. I won't allow it. This card has shown up a few times in the reading, in the past readings. So here we are again with this energy that's getting a little bit riled up at your refusal to participate in whatever narrative this is that has been left behind. Let's get some clarity here. You are just as much to blame. Someone wants to cast blame on you. They want equal blame, equal blame. Please don't lose hope. This person does not want to lose hope that they can reignite with you this very well. It is a past person. We do have the number six. Could even be a family member, someone that you cut off in your family. You've been ignoring this person. Perhaps this person started by thinking they were ignoring you. The tables turn somewhat drastically, not in their favor. At the bottom, we have a wonderful idea, an aha moment. So you've got something percolating for yourself. You're keeping quiet about it. Maybe this energy is feeling the tinges of some sort of, I don't know, some dynamic that's turning in your favor, something you've been working on. You've got some new ideas. You're very creative. You're excited about what's coming toward you. You can't ignore me forever. You can't ignore me forever. You see clearly clairvoyant. You could, in fact, be a clairvoyant. You see things others don't. It's time for a treat. Someone is watching you grow very fast. Whatever you're working on will be bringing you a lot of success. You've got star quality. Let's get the Kipper. Number six. Don't lose hope if there's something that you have been relishing that hasn't come through yet it's coming it's faded don't lose hope adjudication is what flipped that's number 30 6 and 30 june 6 yeah june 30th could be significant 31 bad health is at the bottom adjudication We'll come back to this. Adjudication, don't lose hope. So there's this could be an earthly court manner, matter, or it could be something divine. You weren't ready for me. This could be a breakup. Someone's very upset that a relationship is over. Hmm. got this red apple here very red does remind me of a heart 
someone feels as if their heart has been bitten and it's not healing. Someone's heart isn't healing. It's time for a treat. Distant Horizons. And then we have Main Mail at the bottom. High Honor. Courthouse. Let's uh, get another round, see what's going on here. Distant Horizon Treat. Purple, purple flags in this ship that's above. You can't ignore me forever. Adjudication. False person, main male, landed here. So we'll leave this. We've got some color sinks with this red here, red and gold. Actually, we've got these candy canes and then we have this red and this gold here. This main male, well, this man that's masked is this main male here. So eight and one could be, um, break it down to a nine. This could be significant. Um, and then we have 36, which is another nine. So this is a situation that is ending. It's time for a treat flipped over in reverse. So this false person, or you could be a main male dealing with a false person. Um, something is not going to go in the favor of this false person. We'll leave that there. Let's go back to adjudication. Uh, we got house here. So it could involve a, a home. Adjudication. You could be thinking about moving somewhere more serene. Great fortune and gift. These are fabulous cards to come out together. And this is clarifying adjudication. So if there is a court matter, this judgment is indeed going in your favor for sure. You are the gift. This also feels very godlike with all of this, this gold, yellow, solar plexus, gold. And then we have the red. We've got the red, the gold, red and gold. So, and then the 17 breaks down to an eight. This false person is an eight. So you could be going through some sort of extreme court situation with a false person. You are getting the gift. You are winning. Winning. This again could be divine intervention. Something was taken from you. It's being returned. Goddess, God energy message of concern someone's receiving a message of concern about this gift that you are receiving you understand fate you know that whatever is meant for you will be for you it's coming for you now or in the distance okay so let's get that there so for the bottom of these decks we've got you see clearly clairvoyant right you see what's happening you're very much aware message of concern you might not be that concerned maybe you were at one point but you gave it to god you're giving this situation to god child pathway toil and labor lovers bad health so this energy here feels like it's going with this false person main male energy i'm not really going to try to read too much of that let's get some archetypes and see what we get gift why is gift here companion clarifying gift and then we've got child eternal eternal this is you this is you look at that color sink in the air being lifted up something's being poured into your soul some upgrades your determination is pressing you forward, young in body and mind, spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes, clairvoyant. Companion here is clarifying the gift, loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. 
someone realizes fully who you are, what you bring to the table. Someone didn't appreciate those qualities about you. They tried to emulate you in several different ways, just couldn't do it. They don't have the sauce. They don't have the sauce. This companion goes very well color-wise with this great fortune. So you are likely coming into some sort of alchemy with a new soul, a new love. <clears throat> great fortune. <laughs> this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. <laughs> Networker is at the bottom, but here we have Child Divine. We already just saw Child Eternal. Please believe this is about you and your gifts. And what is unfolding in your life is very much faded. Innocence, purity, redemption suggest a special connection with the divine. This is clarifying this great fortune. You are so loved and appreciated. And whatever storms you have been going through, you've come full circle, full circle more than one time. You're tenacious. You keep going. You're not allowing anyone to bog you down. Wow. Divine companionship. Your counterpart is moving in. Your counterpart is moving in. Networker enhances unity, right? Enhances unity. You are uniting with a divine partner judgment has been called and there will be no blame cast upon either one of you because you are equal in your essence your essence is equal and you will come together oh man this is lovely that's what i'm talking about if you've been frustrated if you've been feeling this energy but it's been kind of bouncy Things have to work out as the universe deems. It's just not much we can do to force things. Liberator, goddess, visionary, exorcist behind visionary. Uh-huh, slave down one. So see how we go from these lighter energies into the dark? That's this side. We've got the light over here. This shadow energy is kind of stuck, is what that feels like. Okay, I kind of don't want to clarify <laughs> these Kipper with this because I don't want to deal with what's going to come out, but let's keep things fair, right? Let's keep things fair and equal. Let's see what we have. Main male, maybe we'll get a little surprise here. Main male. Advocate. Oh my God. Y'all saw these cards come out. Vampire, clarify, main male, rebel. Rebel landed over here, but we're going to keep it with this vampire. Okay. I'm going to go with the shadow though. I have to say shadow depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining and codependency. <sighs> Rebel rejects legitimate authority out of danger. No, wait, out of anger. So this main male could be posing somewhat of a danger to you, trying to come in, stall whatever plans you have. Ugh, they need your energy. They know that you're clairvoyant. They know that you can see them at the door days before they show up so they can't figure out how to get around your boundaries your spiritual protectors the authority here that they have scoffed at is indeed divine authority and so judgment once again has been called this can't be undone this vampire is becoming undone but 
They still, they, there's still strength here. There's still strength here. Advocate inspires you to put compassion into action. You do inspire others to act on their in, in inner gifts. That is your gift to show others what their gifts are. And you're, you've done that, you're doing that, and you're being rewarded in many, many ways outside of anything that's earthly material. Why is this false person here? This is a lovely reading because it's very clear. This is clear, clearer than some of my others have been. False person, Ugh. engineer, and it kind of came in the reverse. Reliance on mechanistic solutions without regard for emotional consequences. So this main male is this false person. They um, have some sort of superiority complex, really, is what it feels like. This person could be very book smart, but when it comes to um, divine matter matters, manners, they could have, they could be very ill-mannered, because I keep saying manner instead of matter. They're not solid. This person isn't solid. Engineering, vampire, rebel. And see, we've got these two darker plums. This is lighter than this vampire color. Masculine energy. Yeah, masculine, masculine, masculine. So this masculine could be hiding behind a uh, shadow feminine energy. There's some pettiness here. Jealousy. Hero. They want to be seen as the hero. They've told lies on you. They've tried to engineer a story that only made them look good while keeping you down in the uh, dirt. This person kicked you when you were down. They just didn't know you'd pop up so fast. Maybe the boot tip missed you and they didn't realize that because they were too busy kicking, but they were kicking at air, at dust. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's get a card for this distant horizons. Kicking at dust. This person is doing a lot of kicking, stomping around, slamming doors. Yeah, child wounded. Ah! Child, this is a person that is stuck in childhood wounds. Look at this. Saboteur, athlete, storyteller. You're this angel, beggar, femme fatale, and trickster. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. this person went around telling folks, Hunte, telling folks that you were begging them for another chance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And if there was someone interested in you that they were aware of, they sabotaged that relationship or tried to. This is someone that is entombed in childhood wounds they are unable to heal they are a disappointment to themselves and their family and they continue to want to lash out sabotage you they could be telling people that whatever new adventures or ventures that they had that they were working on were sabotaged because of you so this blame here is more bs because they know damn well that you aren't as much to blame nowhere near as they are for what is now a clear separation between these, these energies. You're not having it. You're not entertaining this at all. Destroyer, detective, prostitute, alchemist, father. Man, I just got a chill in my jaw. I'm really actually starting to get a little annoyed with this right here because this is this is lunacy. This is lunacy. This is this is a crazy these are crazy. Oh, this is nice. 
Someone's hired someone. Mm. This person could have told people that you are a prostitute and escort. This is a father. A father could have been caught up in some sort of prostitution. Sting. Alchemist. What's the shadow for alchemist? Misuse of power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice. So this could be a dark warlock, witch. Warlock and witch energy. Someone's trying to destroy you with some information that they could already have about you. Voyeurism, falsifying information. Right. They falsified some information, thought it was going to destroy you, destroy your dreams, take away your potential. But here's the thing, okay? You don't have potential. You are the real deal. Your potential has already been realized. It can't be destroyed. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Man, ugh. Oh. I'm going to close this out with some final messages because I'm not, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. And there could be a secret sibling up in the mix. Half sibling. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's just. Secret sibling. This, uh, where's that false person? <clears throat> so, if there is a secret sibling, this main male could be working with them, trying to destroy you. That shit happens. My mother didn't find out she had a half-brother until she was, like, in her 30s. So. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. That's good. It's not funny. It's not funny. The absurdity is funny, but it's not funny. It's final messages. So you continue to shine, star people. My fellow lovely galactic energies. Your betrayal will not be forgiven. The morning star. This card came out this morning in the short. So this is like a dual energy. This is the energy of this person who feels that you share blame with them, they feel that your betrayal will not be forgiven. And they are trying to cast some very dark, heavy energies onto you. They simply aren't able. And this is also your message because you are a star, right? You are this gift, this great fortune that this energy has lost for good a child of the divine and whatever they've done and continue to do will not be forgiven because judgment has been called they could be on house arrest okay or this could be the house of the lord but i'm gonna leave that there and i will see you guys soon in another video